Hey friends, Dustin here with the Life of Lynn channel. We are getting our first snow. So that's not too out of the ordinary for us. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a big one usually this time of year. It isn't because it was 74 degrees two days ago. Anyway, out here at the property, figured I'd show you guys around real quick. about 15 degrees right now nice little flurries coming down it is a reminder that it's going to get pretty cruddy here in no time at all so we've got a few days of cold and I hear uh, some people talking about temperatures down to two or three degrees overnight here in about two days so looks like this weather is gonna stick around for four or five days and then kind of warm back up again but uh, this week will be a little chilly so I figured I'd do a little update on the property. It is, well, really snowy. Everything's brown. It, uh, it looks like winter now. I don't know if you can hear the geese. Now I definitely have a lot of wildlife starting to run around and hunker down for the winter, getting ready for things. Seen a ton of pheasants and deer, antelope, and we got geese flying south. So a sign that it's gonna get colder and we're really shooting to be in the house here in about four weeks, but we got a lot of work left to do. You guys wanna go in the house and see an update of where we're at there? I'm gonna jump in the car and drive over there real quick. Also, I wanna check out this uh, new gimbal I got, thanks to your guys' support our efforts and for our ad revenue and i was able to go buy a cheap gimbal for the camera so maybe we can have a little bit smoother a little bit quieter videos i'm actually driving through a pretty bumpy road and hopefully it's smooth for you guys i guess i won't see until we edit it down <laughs> Guys, luckily we got all the outside stuff for the most part done before it started getting cruddy outside. Over here we got our propane tank in, it's filled. We got the lines run, septic systems all in, leach fields in, all the underground work's done, all the electrical, plumbing, everything's run. And all the siding's on except for one little piece up here. And that is the piece that goes on this section here. And that's because there's something wrong with this window. They built it out of spec. While it is filling the hole right now, we're waiting for a warrantied replacement. So once we get the replacement window in there, we'll seal all this up. Uh, this is not our front door. This is just a temporary one put in to keep the cold out. Okay guys, here we go. HVAC guys are done, plumbers are done, electricians are done with all their rough end stuff. Now, all the insulation is in, except for the blow-in that we'll be doing up on the ceiling. That comes in a little bit later. But, look, lights are on, drywall's going up. Yeah, so they got all the ceiling drywall in upstairs. That'll kind of help keep some of the cold from coming down. Like I said, it is 15 degrees outside. It feels brighter in here already. Just having the drywall on the ceiling. Can't wait till we get it on the walls up here, but downstairs, I'll show you where we're at. Wait on some cement board here for around the shower. That'll be done. But the rest of the basement is now drywalled. Excuse the lighting, it's uh, we just got some junk fluorescence in here and it's really cold so they're not warming up and turning on very bright yet. Look at that, rooms. Oh, uh, here we go. The crazy family room with no windows in it. <laughs> it's looking good, guys. I'm super excited about the progress we've made. We're just looking to fall a little bit short on trying to get done by Thanksgiving, but uh, I think our new goal is to be moved in before Christmas, so we've got a few more weeks to go. But everything at this point has been picked out and ordered, and uh, they're building cabinets and stuff right now. 
So that's going to be coming soon after the drywallers are done. And the drywallers should be done within the next two days. Um, as you can see, they already have this entire downstairs done. Everything's all, all done out. So once they're done, um, we have our mutter and taper and our texture guy coming in. And he should be here in about three days. And he should be able to finish up relatively soon. And then get everything taped, mudded, get all the seams done. Uh, and then he's also going to be doing the texturing and the painting. So all that stuff will be all finished up. It's starting to look like a real house. And as you guys probably saw in here, we got everything installed except for our on-demand water heater. That'll be hanging there. But all the paneling and stuff's in. Furnace is in. And for the most part hooked up. The exception of that one return that has to be run up there. Well guys, I am super happy with the progress we've made. We are just a little bit behind schedule, but that's okay. We will still be living in here before it gets super nasty outside. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so, you know, if this weather keeps up like the way it is right now, for the next like six or seven weeks before we get in, uh, it might be pretty ugly, but <clears throat> the good news is we got a lot of stuff done outside. But uh, a lot of little detail work left, guys. A lot of work. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on. The weather's going a little colder. The house is coming along nicely. And uh, I got some cool shop update videos for you, too, on some builds we're doing. So I'll be dropping those here pretty soon. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. And throw a like down on this video and shoot a comment down below. It's much, much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time.